Today at the Capitol, a group of outraged protesters organized by university students gathered to protest the passage of House Joint Resolution 12, which has gained national attention recently for labeling global warming as, quote, a conspiracy, and for declaring Utah's opposition to policies that deal with climate change. An assortment of environmental groups, concerned scientists, students, and many others were joined by former mayor of Salt Lake City, Rocky Anderson, to express their opposition to House Joint Resolution 12 and to demand that Utah's legislature heed the warnings of the international scientific community. Former Mayor Rocky Anderson led the charge on behalf of all the groups who had assembled on Capitol Hill to hand deliver letters of concern with over a thousand signatures from members of the community to each and every member of the Utah House and Senate. While attempting to deliver the letters of concern on behalf of the citizens group, tension ran high when former Mayor Anderson and the activists were confronted by one of the resolution's chief advocates, Republican Representative Mike Noel. This heated exchange ensued. You got all the young, impressionable kids, huh? I'm not against clean energy, okay? Don't try to put that on me, because I'm not against clean energy. But I don't consider CO2 as a pollutant, okay? Unless you buy into anthropogenic global warming, which I don't. I'm not saying the climate's not changing. I'm just saying that I don't think CO2 has that much to do with it, okay? And there's a lot of people out there that believe the same way I do. Okay, this isn't a matter of belief. The intergovernmental well, panel on climate change. Intergovernment, go ahead. The, go ahead. The every single nation's science academy, industrialized nation's science academy, including our own, okay. our own meteorological association okay. in this country, top Utah scientists, dozens of them, Okay. We're all in agreement. Right. Like the Himalayan glaciers are going to melt you know, in 35 years? This is, this They're group. not. They are, they are melting. They are melting. They are melting. I suggest what did that you look IPC, at the, what did the IPC report say? I suggest that you, I suggest oh, that you look right. at the you're World right. Glacier He's Monitoring wrong. Service. Wrong. The They're World Glacier Monitoring wrong. Service, which is, which is a very Don't reputable organization. Face, okay? Don't I'm not point pointing my finger. Yes, you are, okay? Here's my position on this, all right? Here's what it is. First, do no harm. Let's don't put our economy in a tailspin. It already is. Right Let's now, make though, sure. Is that the Excuse me, sir. I'm talking. Mr. I know you want to, to China. Be, I know you want to be in charge, but I'm talking to Mr. Anderson. Okay? We're in the House Lounge here. Let's have some respect. Okay? Anyway, that's what I'd like to do, Rocky. If we could well, keep talking to each other. Yeah, we we do need to. We got 10 percent of our people out of work. Don't you care about that? Yeah. Of course I do. Okay. Well, we it's not more raising more the people, power and the cost of energy is not going to put more and more people to work with good jobs with a clean renewable energy economy. But what's the base load supply to back up wind and solar power? And you know you have to have it because the wind doesn't the always blow. What you need is a grid. Our power here in this state is about seven cents a kilowatt. You go over to California, it's about 25 or 30 so, cents a kilowatt. That is so short-sighted when we're looking at the long-term impacts. I understand that. Before we go do harm, Let's first step back and make sure we're doing the right thing. We're doing harm right now. We are absolutely doing harm. At 388 parts per million of the atmosphere, we are not doing Which we have not seen in 800,000 years on this planet. What happened to the Greenland period 1,500 years ago? Why did that rise? Why did the temperature rise then? It didn't rise this like is, it's rising now. You don't know that. It's never, it the data shows that. It's about 180 and 280 parts per million back 800,000 years. We're talking about a level of CO2 that we have not seen in almost a million years. Now, were don't we, tell me. Were we measuring CO2 a million years no, ago? But, yeah. but we yeah. have a way to measure it. We have a way oh, to yes. measure it. Take those tree ring data. No, no, no ice cores. No. We don't have those. trees that go yeah, back 800,000 years. Yeah, each other. yeah, absolutely. We, we, I'm with you. I want all these people to come down on March 23rd. We're going to be at UVU for a whole day session with Lord Christopher Mockton and Benchley. He's going to talk about this. You'll have an opportunity to talk about it. All you scientists can step up the plate. You can argue with him. Let's have a little debate a here. I've Let's just not idea. have one side. See, you, he totally you? castigates people like that. He's a fraud. He doesn't he know anything about him. He, he doesn't know anything about him. He uses whatever he credentials he can find that are useful <coughs> at the moment. Well, I'd love Personal to debate friend. you and, right. and do it in a friendly, civil way. I don't really want to do a debate, Rocky. I don't really want to do a debate, Rocky. I don't really want to do a debate. I understand some of it, but I don't understand it all. I don't have the time to go through all of it, but I do we understand a lot of it. Utah scientists on this letter right here. But you can see a thousand scientists that don't agree with you. A thousand That's Utah problem. scientists? Scientists from all over the Western no, I'm talking United about States. Utah's top scientists. I don't scientists. know Utah scientists. I haven't talked. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. So the problem is when you come out against it, you get what these people do today. 
you're stupid, you're a bonehead, you don't have, you're a skeptic, you're a flat earther. Instead of talking about the science, they I want to castigate you personally. I you don't, no. None of that you may, might not have said it today. I didn't hear what you said, but it's in the newspapers all the time about me. It has been for the last four or five years. Wow. Anybody that objects to you guys, you castigate him, you put him down. Just like he said, Lord Mockham, he's a fraud. He doesn't know he's he a fraud. fraud. Yeah. There's so much at stake here, whatever we're doing. Yeah. And That's right. we have got to be able to sit That's down, true. look at the information, and apply our common values and find That's solutions. Right. We already got into it here a little bit. <laughs> the groups were finally able to deliver their letters when House Democratic Representative Phil Reeson signed on as the required sponsor to have their letters of concern delivered and registered. Now, whether or not these citizens' concerns actually get addressed is a different matter entirely. Many of the activists that we spoke to up here today said the sentiment towards them on the Hill seemed to be, quote, prehistoric. And that may be best summed up with a quote from Republican Representative Alan M. Christensen, who, in reference to global warming, declared, quote, everything is being taken care of by a higher power. I think that's wrong. There's a thousand things we're doing wrong around here and we need to clean up our act, but that doesn't mean that necessarily that we are causing climate changes on the Earth. But the regard. atmosphere is so tiny, and, and putting all these greenhouse gases is retaining the heat. And every, every American Science Academy, every in, Industrialized Nation Science Academy, and all these Utah scientists, all are in agreement. I'm not. Reporting for Envira News, I'm Monica Bellinger.